Hey everyone, Brian Shea with Game Informer. I'm here with Matt Cotto. Hello. Today we're taking a look at Three Fields Entertainment's Danger Zone. It's kind of like a spiritual successor to the Burnout series, which many of the developers uh, responsible for this game were a part of that team that made Burnout. That's right. You know, it's kind of more on the crash mode. So it's not like an open world where you're going to be driving around, you know, um, wrecking other vehicles and stuff like that, or, you know, racing. It doesn't have the racing component. But this is a crash kind of a take on the pure crash mode, which is what a lot of people in general, you know, really liked about the game. So as you can see here, this is a flyby of one of the um, levels, and there's going to be lots of, you know, traffic and stuff going to be spawning. This is a test facility, by the way, as you can see there in the upper left-hand corner, crash testing. So this is kind of the world setup, so to speak. So this isn't like we're not out in the world like it was with Burnout, where it was like, all right, just go run some red lights and destroy people's lives it is set up in the sense that you know like they've set up uh you know plenty of crashes and you know, there's lots of junctions and stuff like that and obviously there's pickups as well so smash okay. baker 10 Let's see how this goes. rex so oh, i gotta miss that one i'm gonna get this this pickup is bronze pickup and here we go headline in the traffic do it oh so I want to do the smash breakers. I don't want to hit the grid because that would spell certain death, which as we see, we just simulation <laughs> terminated. There we go. But we're going to try. And this actually, you know, one of the things about Dangerous Golf was they said coming in and out was... Dangerous Golf is their, their game before this yeah, one. Yeah, the other game before this. But this one, as you can see, you can just jump right back in. So it's actually pretty cool to retry it. So what I want to do is I'm actually trying to thread the needle because I don't want to eat it totally on that first intersection. So I want to get to those ones... Well, they didn't do it yeah, there. I didn't do it there. I'm a smash breaker. But Let's hey, see if I think we got better results. You know, better results. Let's see if I can get myself over that other this smash breaker right here. And now, do you then, have control of this? Yeah, I have nominal control. Okay. Oh. I have one more smash breaker, which I'm gonna do. So, by the way, that the vibrations and stuff that go through once you hit the smash breaker can disrupt traffic around you. So, I'm take a look around here. There's no time on it. Those vehicles are backed up there, so I'm going to smash, do another smash break, and see if I can get Damn. to that far intersection here. Let's see. Go, 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 uh, go, 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 There we go. All right, you got another one. Now. Okay, I'm going to keep rolling. Let's see how far I can get. Oh, see. see wow, something. traffic died down. There, are, there so, are a set number of cars, so, like, it's kind of nice because you can sit here and you can watch and you can turn the stick, turn the camera to see what's coming it's not like a some of the i think it's burnout three's crash mode had like a time component to mm -hmm. it. it doesn't have that so you can take a little bit more time and seeing you know what's happening what's coming around and stuff so are they all in like this simulation uh setting or are there any like real world things where there's buildings and stuff it's all the simulation settings there are different ones and of the ones i've seen so far they seem to be a little bit more elaborate than the burnout ones i'll take you to some where it's got some um I try this one. It's pretty cool. It's got this platform underneath, which is kind of cool to get to, and then try to explode your way back up. There's that one bus you destroyed. That one guy. Yeah. So <laughs> if you can see, there's wrecks, vehicles escaped, um, and if we continue here, we can keep going. It'll show you. Yeah, you did. Yeah, on the left hand side, those are the medallions I've picked up, which give me extra points. These cash them in right there. Okay. And then there's also where is it? There's ones about. Um, payloads you've destroyed maybe that was a previous screen but it shows you sort of there's vehicles crashed up there in, in the middle um so let's go back to so do you, this other one. do you get anything for that money or is it just like high scores like bragging rights it's high scores on those um you know those leaderboards and one of the things that's unfortunate is that they actually don't have um online multiplayer ah. so um, so it's just it, leaderboards. Yeah, it's just a leaderboard there. So that that's unfortunate. Um, but you know, this is like I said, it's it's a distillation of, of the crash mode. And as you can see, we're only in the first. This is like the first um, you know test phase. So there's two other ones. So you know, I'm very curious, sort of how crazy you know kind of it kind of gets. So this mm -hmm. is here set up again where. So it's like an entrance ramp to a highway. Yeah, and then it splits off, and so. Huh. Those medallions I've been picking up, there's bronze, silver, gold. If you get them in order, you get, I think, what's called like a grand slam, which is an extra bonus for getting them in order. Or you can just pick up, you know, pick up, pick them up as you can get them. Um, so there's definitely strategy involved as well as kind of like the puzzle component of like, okay, if I'm here, 
how do I get over there? You know, what do I have to destroy? And what do I, when, when should I tar- you know, uh, initiate my smash breaker sure. to kind of make it happen? So you have to take out 10 cars before you get your first smash breaker, yeah. unless you pick up a medallion? No, the medallion is just straight money. Um, but there are, there are, I'm sorry, there are smash breaker like icons in here along with like, along with the money. Yeah. So there's a bronze here. I'm going over. So to there's the a smash side. breaker right there. So we, I'm going to, oh, oh, I got a smash breaker. Let's see if I can get back. Let's see if I can get back. Go, on, go, go. On the, there we go. Got you back on. But what, what is that going to do for us? So Maybe now, those cars will get, just oh, ram into you. Here we go. Let's get, go over here and get this okay. one over here. So how much of a shockwave does that send out? It's a pretty decent sized shockwave. Let's see if we can get these buses to come along and let's get them there. So the, see, I'm trying to make my way back over here. Here we go. Get so it doesn't bronze. look like the drivers are really reacting to your explosions. They're just kind of just plowing right ahead. Um, you get some. You get these. I like these After Effects ones where guys like they think they've gotten away, but then at the last <laughs> second, the end, they sort of like you know jackknife on their brakes or they uh, you know get a flaming tire and then they end up blowing up. So that one I didn't do didn't do too good. Um, here, let's see if I can go back to yeah, that. Let's one retry that one. You. Yeah, let's retry that one. We can do better. Yeah, I can do better. But thanks for sharing the responsibility on yeah, that. Yeah, I'll, I'll take 50% that. of the blame there. I'm usually Please more used to like racing and avoiding traffic, which yeah, I'm exactly. used to um, so <laughs> Kind of counterintuitive. Yeah, a little different mindset, but that's that's obviously part of the fun. So if I can like weave back into traffic here. I really wish there was some racing component to this because I loved uh like the arcade racing games that were so like crash focused like split second and mm-hmm. burnout of course it's just it's such a shame that that fell off in such a big way it did oh okay. you got one more no i want to yeah i need to get you oh, had to I, have, I just got uh simulation terminated yeah and so i think there's also a stat too for how many of those um vehicles you push off yourself into this into this sort of the simulation you know, insta death period here. Mm-hmm. So let's see, where's it? That other one is right. I want to say it's like this one. So I actually I talked to the, the developers and I asked them about you know things like you know oh you know how many cars does it have and some of those kind of basic things. Mm-hmm. And, and they were like, you know what, we didn't. You know, we could have put in x amount of cars and that could have been something you know that was advertised as a feature for the game but they're like we honestly didn't want to spend the time just to give you a slightly kind of different car that's you know red with a little bit more horsepower there's the little yeah bottom part that i said and i feel like the car type and the make and model matters so little in a game like this i mean i I could maybe give us a truck to a little bit more like of an impact but and, and you know, there's you see the different payloads. I know there's like a toilet. There's a toilet truck somewhere in here that will scatter toilets everywhere. Oh, great! Um, which you know will of course alter traffic as it happens when you have a toilet. You know, yeah, just a, a flaming toilet coming right at your uh, windshield. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, you know, when you know, when I'm playing this, I don't sit there and think that like, oh, hey, I wish you know, I they licensed Ferrari or something. Yeah, like this, you know, and I mean? the current record for this track is three fields, which I'm assuming is the developers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they, I think they uh, they have most of the, the number ones on there. The, the cool thing is in the leaderboard, you can see how many times it took that person mm-hmm. to get that score. So you can see, you know, if you're on track with their, well, who it took like one to get it, and who got you know lucky in one, and who like literally stayed up all weekend trying to get. Oh, oh get over there, get over there, get over there. Okay. Get, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, no, oh, I didn't. Can I get pushed into it, perhaps? Wait. Let's see. Does he fall onto that platform? I'm gonna fall into that platform. Push me, push me in there, man. No, it doesn't. Uh, no. I'm thinking you're dead. See that? So look at all those payloads too. If I were to hit those on the on the uh, right upper right hand side, it said 15 payloads. And on that island themselves, there were a good four. So uh-huh. if I would have got that smash breaker, I probably could have thrown all those pipes up and uh, gotten even more damage. So yeah, it's, you know, pointing everything that I did here and all the uh, all the. Uh, damage let's see if we can do that one again here so what if you make it to like the end without hitting anything i have done that there's one i I played where it was pretty open and like Mm -hmm. the traffic was kind of delayed so the traffic didn't instantly start spawning in so i was able actually to like drive around a little bit pick up some some tokens but you know that got me the tokens but that you know obviously didn't get me a lot of crashes and so it's that kind of I guess balance between like, give and take. Yeah, do you want to like 
get the tokens in, in some particular way, or do you want to try to, you know, go for the traffic? Sure. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> I, you can go over the top, too. The problem is when you go over the top, you risk overshooting the whole platform. Of mm -hmm. course, you come below, and then you've got to make sure you time everything just the right way as well. All right, so, let's give this one another shot. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. I wonder if maybe I can get over, get those smash breakers over uh, here like that. That's here go, sweet. So go over. We'll see if we yeah, can get Yeah, I think you got to go over at this ahead. point. No. Mm. Oh. 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 Mm. Ah. Well, they're having fun down there, so that's good. <laughs> you know, one of the things also that, you know, this is just a preview build, so, you know, obviously it's it's definitely being tweaked. Um, it comes out uh, at the end of the month. Um, and one of the things is you can move the right analog stick for the camera. So, you know, sometimes you can definitely want to turn around and see where traffic's coming from or see where the next, you can kind of survey the, the land to see where, you know, a pickup or a smash breaker is. But kind of similar to you know one of the things that in dangerous golf was that some people didn't like the way the camera controlled is so i'm curious as i play this more how i you know what i mean if i feel i'm missing something by having to control the camera but there are times when it automatically does it like when it you know at the end when it, the last uh, board when we were seeing those guys at the very end kind of you know explode and stuff yeah. and fall off so it's kind of a mix of the two, and it'll be interesting to see, like I said, as we go into review and as I play it more, kind of, you know, how I like the camera control. Sure. And you want to take one more shot at? Oh, okay, uh, thanks. At You're very generous. Maybe. Very kind no, of... let's go to another one. Let's do a different. Oh, let's do another one. Okay, sure. Let's do a, a different course. Let's get one more look at, at uh, Danger Zone. Okay. And this, this comes out end of May? Yes, end of May, and it'll be on um, PC and PlayStation 4. Okay, so no Xbox One uh, as of now. As of now, yeah, yeah. Okay, who knows what the future holds. Yes. <laughs> All right. Which one's your uh, your favorite course so far? Probably the one we started out with, maybe just because it's kind of that mix of like, you get some speed, you can you can cause a fair amount of damage. This has got this a, is jump, a jump, though. Cool, yeah. <clears throat> All right. I like the little messages they give you on the, the signs above. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool, nice little touch here. I'm going to not get on that medallion because I'm going to try to hoof it over here. Okay. Okay, so I got one initiated as everybody goes by. Let's go back across the median over here. Clearly, you're driving a Ford Pinto. Okay, here we nope. go. Oh! Push me, push me to the other one. There we go. So I got two of them to see, two X here. So let's turn the camera around, see if anybody coming. Who's coming? Someone's got else has got to be coming. Maybe not. Maybe not. I wonder if you're gonna, <laughs> I'm going to get myself over here to this bronze over here. Okay. All right. What's next? Okay. Well, I guess all I have. Oh, I guess there's a pickup right over How did I miss that one? <laughs> Just go right back to where we right were. Right back over there. I don't think no. we're going to make it. So there is a finite amount of traffic. There's sometimes I think I've seen where it like comes all in one wave and there's other times where there's like multiple waves from multiple directions. Mm -hmm. So that's just one of those things you're going to have to figure out, you know, as you, as you play the, uh, the boards over and over. So, all right. Well, I'm sure you'll learn okay. much more about it. Zero vehicles escaped. <laughs> Good job. You, you got dead. everyone. That's right. I'm really that's proud a, of you. It's a point in most video games, right? You, you kill everybody. That's anyway. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is Danger Zone, the uh, the upcoming crash simulator game from uh, Three Fields Entertainment. Comes out end of this month for PlayStation 4 and PC. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next time.